Um, you know, I'd love you to weigh in, actually, longer term, of course, just the conversation we were having. We have it so often in the morning, whether it's talking about Tesla or Rivian or Neo or going through all of these companies, as small a market share as they have, EVs coming, maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but soon. How does a Chevron prepare for that eventuality? Well, we've seen EVs coming for quite some time. You know, our, our company's headquartered in California. California's had a zero emission vehicle mandate going back 25 years. So this is a technology that has been emerging, and we certainly see in the developed economies uh, continued progress. Uh, but it's important to remember a couple of things. Number one, only 25% of a barrel of oil ends up in light-duty vehicle transportation, so 75% in other um, uses. And then the uh, demand growth is driven very broadly around the world, particularly in the emerging economy where people don't have vehicles today. So our central planning case includes hundreds of millions of electric vehicles up from single digits today uh, in just the next 20 years. And so we certainly have uh, an expectation that we'll see these companies succeed. We'll see electric vehicles penetrate uh, into the economy. And yet, even in spite of that, demand for our products is still expected to continue to grow. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.